Well, there certainly is no shortage of critters around the yard, is there? Groundhogs, chipmunks, moles, whatever it is, and they do some damage. Yes, I understand some of them are cute and fun to watch, especially the chipmunks, but they can do damage by getting underneath slabs, sidewalks and different things, and then this, that can collapse. So there is, you do need to do a little control. Chipmunks probably easiest control by using a live trap like that. Then the question always is, what do you do with it? So you drive it away from your house, three miles, blindfold it, spin around three times, get in the car and get out of there. But uh, <laughs> So your choice of what, where you're going to drop them off in a wood somewhere, you can use a rat trap with a little uh, uh, peanut butter or something like that on it. That takes uh, good care of them. There are uh, repellents for different things, so for squirrels and chipmunks. This one actually lists groundhogs, and groundhogs are hard to get. So groundhogs, you could sprinkle this around the hole of the, uh, where the groundhog is, which is generally under your shed or a garage or you can trap it. You can't trap it with this size trap. It's, it's a huge uh, trap, looks just like that. But if you trap a groundhog, you gotta get him out fast because he's strong enough that he can actually break out of there. So those are, uh, those are some tough ones. But moles probably do uh, more damage to the yard than anything else. So I came out this morning, look at the mole run through here. All the way down, there's a little secondary run that goes that way. It's all throughout this yard. So. Moles, everyone has a different way to kill a mole, it seems like. This is uh, castor granules. I don't think they work very well. Some people say they do. This is the one that a lot of people say they work. This little stake that has a battery in it vibrates every 60 seconds. I don't see how it can work, but people love them. I just want to tell you they're out there. Probably the, the, uh, the easiest way or the most prevalent way to kill a mole is either with a trap or a poison worm. The first thing you do, push down the mole run, wait 24 hours, do that six spots, mark them, wait, wait a, a day, see which one's been pushed back up. Now you know you have an active run. So you can either use a trap like this. This is an old Victor trap, but there's choker traps. There's all kinds of scissor traps. But in our hard clay soil, the next thing I would do is take a, a shovel and break this up, break that clay up before you set that over the top. And these are a little bit hard to set. If it doesn't go off in about 24, 48 hours, start the process over and move it, all right? So that's the trap. But I will tell you that it's the, the worm, these talpred worms that seem to work, and that seems to be what our customers like. And so you do the same thing, find an active run, put on a glove. I'm not gonna put it on because it would take the rest of the segment for me to put that glove on. But these little worms you drop five to 10 foot down the mole runs. You just take a, uh, a little doll rod or something and you just drop them in there, kind of tuck them down in there. And like I say, every five to 10 foot along the mole run. And the problem is you just have to see less activity. So what you would do is in a few days, you come out and start pushing the runs down and see if, if you see any more activity. If you still see activity, rebate, but generally it takes care of them pretty quickly. So you want to get rid of them because they do cause a lot of damage. So I know we, nobody likes to do that, but the mole's got to go.